Well, I promised a pre-op, basically a preliminary video of this running. Uh, let's get to it. Now, some tweaks need to be done. This is still rocking a bit, as you will see. I still need to finish this movement, this rocking movement back and forth. But that in due time, and I'm going to do these off camera because, you know, it's not something fancy. Right, let's get to it. Try another cut. So we're Cutting tapers, basically speaking, although the cutter is not adapted for that, but I'm pretty pleased. Let's try, um, I got some, uh, got some 5mm brass. Let's, uh, <laughs> load it. Now, this is not exactly what you could call, um, perfect because we're way way too much extended our overhang is way too high now in machinery there's an, an optimal don't go above it rule of thumb which is you do not want to stick out meaning material out of the chuck that's more than four times the od the outer diameter and this is a five millimeter so we should be extended no more than 20 millimeter and we're at 30 so roughly speaking still let's give it a go see how it does okay so we definitely need more rigidity let's try and cut a cone Okay, <laughs> well a cone that is, we can't argue about that, right? <laughs> Got us a little pencil. <laughs> so aesthetically this is pretty nice. I actually took quite a heavy cut, 0.2 millimeters, which is basically what my lathe will do at most. So yeah, I did it. Really, really nice. First corners, I can feel that edge. And that's not bad. We didn't complete this cone, but yeah, it's working. <laughs> 